Hello. Today we will be working with numbers and in particular we will be looking at how to take written numbers and put them into digit form. Digits are what we use to create numbers. Digits include 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. You combine them to create numbers. So if I have a 1, then a 2 next to it, that would use the digits 1 and 2 to make 12. Now, we're going to start here. How do you write this number using digits? The number written here is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, if it helps, use a number line. Create a number line. Or if you have a number line by you, that would help you too. First number we normally start with is 1. Then we go to a 2, 3, 4 would be next. So which answer choice would work? Hopefully you pick this one, 4. Our next number that we have to write using digits is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And again, I can create a number line if that helps. To figure out, we start at 1, 2. What comes next? You know it, 3, then 4, 5. What comes after 5? 6, 7, and then comes 8. Which answer here shows 8? There you have it. This time, we're not going to just click on the number. We actually need to write it in using our keyboard. So look at the digits on your keyboard. It starts with 1 and goes up to 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Here's a hint. This is like a number line already made for you. The number we have to put in is 5. Look at your keyboard. Point to the 1, point to the 2, point to the 3, point to the 4, and then point to the 5. And you should type in 5. Next one is 19. So again, we're not just clicking on a number, we have to type it in. Now here's the cool thing about teens. Anytime you see the word teen, that's a hint. That's telling you that the first digit is going to be a one. Then you look at the first part of the word, and here it says nine. So that means the second digit is going to be a nine. So again, teen means one, nine means nine. And then that gives you 19. Eight. Again, we're writing it in. We're not clicking an answer. Let's use our keyboard quote unquote number line to help us because it's a single digit number. Point to the digits on your keyboard. Start with one and then go up to and stop at eight. Count out loud if you need to. And the number you should put, the digit you should click is 
eight. We just did this one. The last question we did was this exact one. Let's see if you are paying attention. Type in the digit, the number for the word eight. There we go, keep it up. You're rocking. Oh my gosh, let's try it again. What number word is this? Go ahead and say it, we just saw it for the last two questions. Eight, what number should be in the box? Say it, draw it, trace it in the air if you need to. Eight. Our next number that we need to write in is 11, 11. So I like to use my number line. I can't use my keyboard for this one, so I'm gonna have to use my hand. I'm gonna have to draw a number line. And you know what? I don't have to start at one because I'm, 11 comes after nine. So I'm gonna start at 10, 10, 11. I know 12 is a one and a two. I know the next one is one and a three for 13, and a one and a four is 14. So what does an 11 look like? Look it for a hint. I have one and a zero. We don't know that yet. One with a two, one with a three, and one with a four. So what are we missing in that pattern? 11 should look like two ones. Let's see if you are paying attention. Again, we have the word 11. How do you write the number using digits to make 11? Do that double one, one, one. Okay, last one. How do we write this using digits? Oh boy, I know this number. It says two. So you can look at your keyboard number line. Remember, it starts with one. What comes right after one? Two does. What does that two look like? and we click it, there we go. Excellent job, you rocked those numbers. See you next time.